Can you guys hear me? Wait, I gotta adjust my seat. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. I had to adjust my <clears throat> excuse me, my light that um tank gave me. Because it was literally right in my eyeballs. <laughs> so I had to adjust it. That's why I was kind of cogobulated when I uh first got on here but good morning everyone good afternoon to those that are later than me I know it's um lunchtime over at the east coast you eastern timers it's 10 a.m 10 a.m here in big sky montana <clears throat> 9 a.m for us for our pacific friends it's good to see everybody this morning all right so I'm gonna go through the chat and say hi to say hi to you all See who's all in the house. <clears throat> wow, the chat is popping. So hello to Alicia. Uh, Y'all, please keep Alicia in your prayer. She's still having her tummy issues. I venture to say it's probably, um, Alicia, it's probably your IBS, but hopefully they can, they can figure it out and give you something to help you out with that. Hello to Melissa Crochets with love. Good morning, sweetheart. I'm all set up, girl. I'm all set up. Uh, got the plans nailed down with hubby last night um hello to um michelle you aka yarny disaster how are you today <clears throat> and of course hello to tank hello to shift kicker <gasps> shift kicker she says hi sweetie i am out uh, at the thrift store shopping, we'll watch later. Okay, girl, catch three, play, have fun shopping. Girl, I hope you get some good deals. I don't usually, uh, I don't walk out in the thrift shops here where I live. Um, yeah, I haven't looked out very much, but I'm going to have to hit them up this week while little man is at school because I need to find a uh, little nightstand for hubby to put his CPAP machine on next to the bed. Right now, he got it sitting on the floor. It's not ideal. Everyone's saying hi to it. Hey, Jennifer from Froggy Window Knitting. Welcome in. I hope you're feeling better. Um, and it's an elephant stampede. Well, welcome in, stampeders. We were just at Carrie's Live this morning, and Connie was showing some really cool vintage crochet and knit books that she had gotten so neat i really really enjoyed the live this morning and looking at all those patterns uh, while i was finishing up on the first autism acceptance beanie and uh yeah it was a great live very very interesting how different the patterns were back then as to how they are now everyone's saying hi to each other I love it when you guys hug and love on each other. Hello, Judy Hawk. How are you? Hi, Pat. How are you? She says, good afternoon, Nisi, and everyone in the chat. Elephant Raid. Thank you so much, you guys. Hey, Jet. How are you? Saw you at uh, Carrie's Live as well. Hi, Sarah. Simply Crochet and more. How are you? How have you been? <clears throat> Hey, Joy. Welcome in. Good morning. She says, hello, Nisi, and all in the chat. <clears throat> oh, thank you, Pat, for reminding everyone for the thummies. They help. They really help the algorithm. They help get my live out there for people to see who may not have seen me before. Hi, Leslie of the Corn. How are you? Nice to see you in here. Is this your first time in here today? I don't think I remember uh, seeing you in here before. And do you have content or or are you a supporter that wants a community tab? If so, um, type DROP in the chat and I will uh, come over to your house and check you out. Hi, Wiki Granny again. <laughs> There's a lot of us in here that were at Carrie's Live this morning, you guys. If you guys missed it, please watch the replay because those books were so neat. They really were neat. Connie did a good job of showing them to us. <clears throat> I think they were from like the early 90s, if I'm correct. Well, thank you, Froggy, for reminding everyone to hit the thumbs up. 
Hey, VJ, VJ, I need to catch your live on replay today. Um, little man, you guys, and I were out in the city yesterday. I had to get some some things, some er we were just running errands, and I was looking for a couple of things that my husband needed and my son needed, and I didn't, I it didn't work out. I didn't, I wasn't able to find what we needed. So looks like I'll be shopping online sometime today, <laughs> and or going to the thrift shops tomorrow and to see if I can find the nightstand my husband needs. So we'll see. Fingers crossed. Hey, Sprinkles Hope Chess. I did not go to the yarn stores while I was in town, though, because I just I just didn't have time to stop into Joanne's or Michael's. I wanted to get into the city and get home because I had things I had to get done here. So it's what it is. <laughs> I don't think there was any good sales going on anyway, so I don't think I missed anything. And not only that, I, I, I'm on a yarn diet. I, I can't be buying yarn. I got to shop my own stash for a while because, as you can see, this is a new this is new. This is a love seat with two recliners now, so hubby can sit with me while I'm crocheting up here at night. I crocheted downstairs during the day normally. I didn't feel like sitting down there today, though. That's why I'm up here. And then I crochet up here at night so I can spend time with the boys but still get stuff done. <laughs> so, hello, Dawn. Welcome in. Good to see you. And I saw you earlier, I believe, at Carrie's. <laughs> Hooray, all my yarny besties are here. Right, Jet? Isn't that neat? Don't you just love it? I just love it. So much fun. I love it when we follow each other from live to live. It's fun. Hey, Nance Next Knots. How are you? Welcome in. <clears throat> so y'all get to know each other and say hi. Hi, Teresa. It's good to see you again this week. Welcome in. Little Treasures by Nancy. Hello, sweetheart. Welcome in. It's good to see you. Laura's here. Good morning, Crow Joe Corner. Says good morning, Nisi, and everyone in the chat. I'm getting ready, you guys, in just a second. I have a video to share with you guys. It's really neat. Laura emailed me, and I got her email yesterday. She made me a super chat video. Isn't that nice? And it's so me. It totally fits my personality. Um, I'm not monetized yet. And I don't think Nightbot's sharing my PayPal. But um, when I do get monetized, um, or I guess next week I'll start putting my PayPal, I guess in the, I guess in the chat, I keep forgetting it that I even have it <laughs> uh, for anyone who wants to donate. Um, it's just like the last thing that, on my mind um but um i am at as of this morning i'm at 2540 watch hours so i have a ways to go yet you guys but if it happens i'll have the video handy <laughs> and it, it it totally fits my personality when you guys see it you're gonna be like yep that's nisi all over it um uh, laura did an awesome job on it and i just love it hi um let's see I think I said hi to Judy and Wicked Granny. It's oh, it's 10 a.m. as well in Boise, Idaho. Boise, I can literally wave at you from my backyard. Well, I'd have to go up to the very top of the mountain and then I could wave at you because <laughs> I can. The Idaho mountains are literally in my backyard next door. <laughs> and I'll be going through Idaho, Jet, in, um, in June. That's how I, that's the route I take. Um, to go home is I go through Idaho and I hit um, oh, what is the name of that city in Idaho it's a big one too Idaho Falls I think I go through Idaho Falls I think so I don't I don't go through Boise I don't believe but anyway I'll be going through Idaho so when I hit Idaho and I go through Idaho I'll wave hi to you <laughs> um, but yeah later on in June I'll be traveling to Texas. Hey, Miguel, how are you? Welcome in. It's good to see you in here. And my mom is in the house. Hi, Mom. Mom, when I come to see you in June, I am going to make you your own YouTube account. <laughs> so you can log in as yourself. Okay. That is on my agenda. One of the things I would like to do with you while I'm visiting you is set you up with your own YouTube account. So you don't have to always go underneath dads. 
So John Bailey, you guys, is really my mother. Just so you guys know, for you new one, for you new people in here that haven't been in here before. And Croto is just saying hi to everybody. <laughs> naked Snail is in here. Hello, the Naked Snail. How are you? Mr. Clean, can you wish me luck tomorrow? I begin my five year. Oh, my goodness. Really? Well, good luck with that. That's a shame. Okay. Wicked Granny is saying hi to Miguel and my mom. <laughs> um, let's see. <clears throat> um, you're welcome, Alicia. Absolutely. It yeah, it's it's exciting. It is exciting. <clears throat> So, and Connie's in here. Hey, Connie. All right. So I have some moderators in the house. And just FYI, sometimes they still come in. They'll they'll hit the subscribe button just because I have the subscriber only buttons only set to five set to five minutes. And sometimes they will they will hit subscribe and they'll they'll sit there and they'll wait the five minutes and come in and troll the chat. So, um, y'all keep your eyes open, okay? <laughs> If it happens too much today, then I'll have to set the subscriber only um, thing up higher so we don't get that issue again because we 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 just had it and I I took care of it so wow anyway Alicia says I love thrift shopping I get half of my kids clothing from Salvation Army stores we don't have one of those here believe it or not. Um, they used to have dollar day for kids. Oh, that's really nice, Alicia. And then uh, Miguel says she, uh, he needs to go and he's saying bye and he's gave the thumbs up. Thank you, Miguel. Have a great day. Thank you for stopping in and saying hello. And Naked Snail says that they love sh sh thrift shopping. <clears throat> I do too, especially when I'm able to find something, but I haven't looked out hardly at all. So Aisha's giving us the smiley face to everybody in the chat. Oh, let's see. Oh, hey, Sharon. Says, Nisi, I got your beautiful squares. The purple is awesome. Oh, I'm so glad you like it. And I can't wait to see the blankets done when you get them done and you get them all stitched up and ready to go. Very excited about seeing how they come out. BJ said they were made more delicate and lacy. And that jumped big time. Goodness gracious. <laughs> and VJ saying hi to everybody. Will lurk while braiding hair. Okay, VJ. <clears throat> I wish I knew how to bra braid hair. Because I would totally French braid my hair. Uh, Pat says Joanne's has 20% off lion brand yarn and $2.99 shipping through tomorrow. Well, thank you for letting us know. I'm not allowed. <laughs> so I'll have to I'll have to get my yarn haul fixed for you guys. I gotta behave. <laughs> and Wicked Granny says, my kids are here to mow, so I'll be in and out. Okay, Wicked Granny. Joy's in the house. Hey Joy says we are on a road trip to Indiana. Oh, how fun. What you gonna be doing in Indiana? And Joy dropped her link to her channel so you guys can go check her out. Oops. Michelle, did your link drop, Michelle? Let's see. Michelle, if my you, StreamYard would stop doing that. All right, Michelle, I don't think Nightbot dropped your link. I think Night, I think you and Joy type drop like right next to each other. So, Michelle, <clears throat> if you would, go ahead and type drop one more time. <clears throat> and let's see if Nightbot drops it. Uh, 
And then Melissa saying hi to everyone she missed. She's multitasking. Um, <clears throat> Melissa, Judy is asking you if there if there any other way. <laughs> <clears throat> Alicia says, hope I didn't miss saying hi to anyone. I'm trying. Sometimes when the house, when the chat is like really, really full of a ton of people, I do a blanket hello to everyone with hearts, just so I make sure I covered everybody. And Melissa says, absolutely, LOL, right? Multitask, man. Sometimes that's what you have to do. No problem, Nisi family is important. Yeah, I'm I I I have to do a lot of replays this week, BJ, because this whole week I have been slam packed with doing things for hubby or little man. <clears throat> so I haven't hardly been on the YouTube streets much at all during the day this last week. It is just we had two two appointments. We had an appointment for little man on Tuesday. Then we had an appointment for little man and myself on Thursday um, with our with our psychiatrist, his meds changed and my meds have changed. And it, it <clears throat> and um, little man is needing to get some, um, some additional services to help with his uh, social development in school. He's having, pro he's having some issues. Actually, he's having quite a bit of issues. So we need to get him in to see a therapist to help him navigate social behavior more. And so, um, it's been busy. It's just been a busy, busy week. I had a phone conference with Zayden School um, to discuss what needs to be done and what additional services is needed. So, oh, Melissa, girl, you know what I mean. You've been there. So it's been, it, it, it was an exhausting week. So it's good to be able to sit here with you guys and relax and just oh, get my wall back. <laughs> get my wall back, you guys. <laughs> Alicia, oh, Nisi's moving on up. You're so sweet. We'll see. We'll see. I don't. I don't push it too hard. You guys know I'm. I'm just so laid back. I'm just like, yeah, if it happens, it happens, and it'd be great, you know. But I don't. I'm not a very good self promoter at all. Uh, Nance, next not hello. My your first time here. All right, you guys know what happens when it's someone's first time here. Everybody. Show hearts and love on them. <laughs> Make them feel warm and welcome in the house. Hey, Brent says, hey, Nisi and chat. Brent is who, who's the knitter? Uh, Alicia says that she and her husband, Tim, are celebrating 24 years of marriage on Monday, May 24th. Or April 24th. I said May 24th. April, it's April, Denise, it's April, <laughs> April 24th, happy early anniversary, Alicia, and congratulations on 24 years, that's amazing, Crojo says, I was looking for something rustic for you, and as soon as I found that clip, it had to be yours, all right, you guys, I'm going to show this, so I'm going to drop myself down really quick and show you the super chat video, I love it. Laura, I love it. That is so me. That's me all over the place. <laughs> Just love it. Isn't it cool? It's so it does. It screams me all over. That that whole video screams Nisi. You are absolutely correct on that. It really, really, really does. Hey Pam. How are you? Welcome in. Welcome in. Isn't it a cute thank you video? I just love it. Hey Granny D. 
Granny says, love that Nisi, perfect for you and your log home vibes. Right? Laura, you outdid yourself. I just love it. She says, I'm so glad you love it. Thank you for being a sweet friend, Nisi. Oh, girl, you're a sweet friend, too. Thank you so much. That was such a nice gift and a huge surprise when I got that. And Melissa says, yes, Laura, it screams Nisi for sure. So cute. And BJ says, oh, my goodness, that's awesome. And Little Treasure by Nancy says, Laura, what what program did you use to make that? Um, Judy says it looks cool. Yarnbright works. Lydia has dropped her link. And did Nightbot drop your link? Uh, I don't, is Nightbot not? Oh, well, it dropped Melissa's link. Um, Nightbot's being a little, um, a little extra today, Lydia. So try dropping try typing drop one more time sweetie because nightbot didn't drop your link and i don't i don't know why maybe nightbot's just being slow i'm not sure all right i'm going through the chat really quick um i think i think uncle fluffy's in the house fluffy did you come in here hey nana michelle crochet hello to you and Nan Next Knots dropped their link, which is great. Hey, Nisi, darling. Hey, Granny. Uh, Melissa says, yes, absolutely, Nisi is a lot and can be very overwhelming. It it this week was overwhelming for for sure. I, I'm 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 tired. I slept really good this morning and yesterday morning, though I will tell you that. Christina says, stopping by to leave. Aloha, listening for a bit, but can't stay long. Hugs to you, Nisi and Freds. You have a great day today, Christine. And I believe you were up early at like 4.30 a.m. Girl, that's early in the morning. Working. So you have a great day. Thank you for stopping in and saying hi. Hello to Gloria. Gloria is, uh, I believe she dropped her link. Alicia is also a multitasker. Lisa says, I braid Katie's hair every day. Been doing it since it was long enough to braid. I do French braids. I use French braid. I used to French braid my own hair. I also cut all of our hair, including mine. That's nice to be able to do. Hello, Melanie J. Welcome in. My mom says she's going to teach me how to uh, braid my own hair. I can braid it like in pigtails, but I can't. I can't braid it like this. And Lydia says, hi. Uh, let's see. Heading into Bucky's now. Oh, it was, oh, that's why you're going as a family, family, the family funeral. Joy, I'm so sorry, sweetheart, for your family's loss. Um, yeah, that's not a, that's not a fun way to travel when you're going to, when you're going to a funeral for sure. So hugs to you, my friends. Laura says, um, I taught myself how to braid by sitting on the couch, propping my elbows on the backs and watch TV over and over and over. Practice makes perfect. That's actually a good idea. And then Vijay said, there's some awesome hair braiding tutorials on YouTube. You know, I didn't even think to even check that, but YouTube pretty much has everything on there. That's actually a really good idea. Uh, Pat says, my roommate and her partner are cutting grass, so all four dogs and five cats are inside the house. I'm hungry, too. I will be back. Okay, Pat, get yourself something to eat, and good luck with all the fur babies. Katie's Amazing World of Fun. Hey, good to see you in here. Oh, Alicia said to set it up for 15 minutes for subscription. I try not to do that just because I, I find usually 10 minutes is, is good enough. But I was hoping five minutes would actually be even better, but apparently not. So because we had that one person come in and, and do what they did, but it's OK. Um, just I'll, I'll have to go back to 10 minutes, I guess. Um, I actually thought that person was a troll, Alicia. Do you know that person? If you know that person, I'll unhide them. But the, the comment was a little strange. So that's why I hit them. 
So if you know that person, message me and you can get with me after the live. <clears throat> it was just a really weird comment to make and it it threw me off so I wasn't sure so and Gloria says hi to everybody in the chat uh, popping in to say be, cre be creative crafts says hey Nisi popping in to say howdy howdy do well hello welcome in uh, Jetton says, um, we'll be going to Texas next year in April to see the solar eclipse. Ooh, how fun. We've got family in Dallas near the, near the path. Totally. Oh, that is really cool. That's cool. Um, and Alicia wants to know how many watch hours I need to get monetized. Um, well, I have a good 15, uh, 1500 hours left. So I've got quite a bit left before I can be monetized. So, all right, let me go through the chat. Going back through the chat. Also, I never saw that person before, Alicia, ever in any of my lives. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm just very cautious about the safety of this house <laughs> and my friends that come in it. And sometimes I'm overly cautious, I'll admit, but, you know. Uh, Asia says um, that is so my style too you have such a way with those clips and the patterns you find she is very talented in that isn't she Crojo Corner she oh, the, the patterns that she picks that she shares with us are always so beautiful and then she's really good at coming up with those those video clips and Melanie says she loves the guitar and the swing at the cabin I do too I loved it Loved it, loved it. Oop. I hate when it does that. Okay, let's see. Oh, it worked this time, Lydia. Nightbot finally worked for you this time. Yay! Hey, uh, Il, uh, Il, uh, oh, I can't say it. I'm messing it up again. Ilnerum. Nisi, hey, hi, hello from Central End Noise. It's been a it's been a hot minute since I've seen you. How's hey, how's that paint pouring going for you? Are you still doing paint pouring? I loved your paint pouring uh, art that you guys did. And Tank is observing and eating a forbidden hot apple fritter. Oh, girl, I love apple fritters. They're so yummy. And unique, amazing stripes says hi, Nisi, and everyone in the chat. <laughs> Everyone's saying hi to everybody. I just posted a quick video of Katie watering my tomato seeds. Oh, I'll, I'll definitely go and check that out, Alicia. Okay, I have a question. <laughs> Is there someone in this community that makes something that hangs soda bottles Upside down for a bird feeder. Interesting. I'll have to do some research and see if there's something I can do for you. And I'll have to let you know. And everybody in the chat, if, if, if we have a lot of crafty people in here, if you know something you can make that will hang soda bottles upside down for a bird feeder, um, get a hold of um, uh, Il Canerum. Um, and if you'll drop DR, DROP in the chat so they can get a hold of you, that would be great because um, that way they can get to your email address from your About tab and they can let you know if they're able to make something for you. And you guys can switch information. Oh, get up, get one of the Barbie heads. That I can, I can French braid somebody else's hair. I just can't French braid my own. Is, is what my issue is. And Granny Z is going into the bushes and she'll be lurking, everyone. Yeah, definitely prayers to joy. Hey, our new Lances. Hey, Nisi, I hope you and your crew are doing well. We're doing, we're doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Oh, let's see. <laughs> Laura says she had her set for two days yesterday. 
Uh, my Aunt Jane, God rest her soul, taught me how to knit. My husband's grandmother, Janet, God rest her soul, taught me how to crochet. Alicia's, yes, 10 minutes should help. Yeah, that's what I usually have it on, and I'm going to have to switch it back to that. Um, Unique says, I should eat breakfast with some dried mango and miso for breakfast after a run. Get something to eat. Snack or if it's lunchtime, get some lunch, girl. No, I don't know, Mr. Clean. I didn't see his comment. Okay. I didn't think you knew him, and I've never seen him in this chat ever, ever before. So, yeah. <clears throat> Still waiting for my pre-surgery packet. Yeah, my pre-surgery packet, Mom, didn't come until like a couple of days before the surgery, and it was really annoying. But hopefully yours doesn't end up being that way, and you get yours like pretty quick. My mom's going in for surgery, you guys. Um, she is having a um, – it's, it's non-cancerous, but it's a tumor that's located on the side of her neck, and they have to surgically remove it. Um, and so I believe her surgery is May 18th. So if you guys will keep my mom in her prayers that the surgery goes well, and that there's no complications and that her healing time is quick and, um, and that there's as little pain as possible. So yes, please keep my mom in your prayers. And obviously I'll keep you guys updated with how it went because I know a lot of you're going to want to know. So uh, I'll play your playlist, Nisi. We only need 36 more hours to hit 4K. Oh, that's exciting. And I'll 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 uh, play yours again too. But I need to clear my history for you. Otherwise, it won't count because I've seen a lot of your stuff and I just don't comment. I usually I just click the thumbs up. So um I'll go in and I'll clear all of my history all for everybody. And then that way when I go in to rewatch, my hours will count. Oh, it's okay, Alicia. It doesn't hurt to ask because sometimes I click buttons. <laughs> I do. I've done it before by accident, and I'm sure there'll be another time I'll do it again by accident. Um, you should probably will receive your packet on May 1st. I will get them. If not, I'll call. It. Yeah, you should get them by, by May 1st since your surgery is May 18th, but but, yeah, if you don't get them by then, Mom, yeah, definitely give them a call. She does. She knows how to find some really, really good, good patterns. It's amazing. Oh, you've been doing your 3D, 3D printer more than you've been paint pouring? <laughs> I get it. Um, we got some people here in the uh, in the Yarny community, and they make crochet, crochet hooks with their 3D printer. How cool is that? That's pretty cool. Hey, Butter Roll Boutique, how are you? Butter Roll Boutique, how are you? Okay, so um, what I've been working on. Um, I've been, I'm working on two things right now. Actually, I'm working on more than two things. But what I've actually, ugh, I can reach and get it. What I've actually physically worked on this week, I will show you. All right, so I got done with this this morning while I was on Carrie's Live. This is the, oops, there we go. This is the first autism acceptance beanie that I completed. And you can see the autism, the gold infinity sign right there um, that I have put on the beanie. So this is number one. This one's done. I got to do the red one. Uh, these will be auctioned off on May 30th on the autism auction um fundraiser for um melissa crochets with love her daughter's school her school fundraises once a year and all the funds that they fundraise um goes towards scholarships for the kids and anything that the kids need at that school um, i have included the link to her video for all the information about the auction that you may want to know in the description of this video. I also um, included the uh, link to my precious yarneries, her video of the yarn that she hand dyed and that she is auctioning off for the charity as well, or the fundraiser as well. So you can see that yarn because you guys, that yarn is gorgeous. <laughs> 
<laughs> that yarn is so pretty. It is so pretty. I may have to hit her up and be like, hey, can you make some more of that for me? Because I would love to make an autism um, acceptance uh, like a cowl or, or, or shawl or wrap to wear um, in the month of April for next year, but we'll see. I'm not, I'm not allowed to buy yarn right now, so I can't, but she is auctioning it off you guys. And whichever one of whoever wins the bid is going to be so lucky. <laughs> that would be so jelly, but anyway, I digress. So I've got both of those, um, links to those, both those, uh, videos in the chat now the auction is may 30th so pin that on your calendar you guys it's may 30th and it's at 8 p.m eastern and 8 p.m eastern will be 7 p.m central 6 p.m mountain time 5 p.m pacific and i'm not sure what the time would be over over the over across the pond so um so pin your calendars for that date so you guys don't miss it um i will be helping them at both um uh, Melissa and Angela are going to be doing the auction uh, live on YouTube and I'll be helping them out, you know, writing details of, you know, who won what bid to and emailing that to help Melissa out so she can keep everything straight. So I'll be helping um, with some administrative things and uh, I was invited on the panel and I have made arrangements with the hubby uh, so that I can be on panel that night. So I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys on May 30th on Melissa's with Love's uh, fundraiser. Um, so that is the one beanie that's done. The red one's going to look exactly the same as this one. It's just going to be red, exactly like the one I'm wearing today, my red autism acceptance beanies. And I wear my red and my gold beanie. I switch them out through the whole month of April. Anytime um, I end up on someone's panel, um, well, except for last night because it, it was pajama night and I just had my hair in a ponytail. I can't wear these with my hairs in a ponytail. <laughs> um, but um, anytime I do my lives, any of my lives in month of April, and usually if I'm doing even a video of, it doesn't matter what the video is, it could just be of yarn. I try to wear one of these beanies in, in my videos all month long uh, to represent and promote autism acceptance. So that is that. And then the other thing that I've been working on, and you guys are probably not going to be able to see all of this, but I'll give it a shot is the um, All in the Family Mondella Blanket. I believe I'm on row 33 right now. So I am trying to um, finish part three um, of this blanket. And it is through part three ends with row 41. Part fo four, the very last tutorial sequence starts with row 42. Um, and the crochet crowd is a tutorial that I've been watching for this blanket. I have not decided if I'm going to keep this blanket for myself yet. Um, I, I, I haven't decided, but it's got, you know, of course, it's got some lavender purple in it. Very, very, very pale, pale baby, baby lavender purple in it because, you know, I, I'm obsessed with purple. And I love to try to sneak purple in in a lot of things that I do. Um, but I don't know if I'm keeping this for myself or not, or if I'm going to gift it to a family member. I haven't decided. Um, so, but, so that's what I've been working on, Lydia. Thank you for asking. And you guys can let me know what you've been working on. And it doesn't have to be yarn related. It can be anything. Um, I have not done any more with the yard because we've been having snow and snow and rain. I haven't been able to get out there. So I'm hoping sometime this week during the day, I'll be able to get outside and finish doing all the cleanup so I can prep the yard, prep the garden for next year. And I do want to still grow some things in containers, but it's too cold to do any of that yet. If I try to do it, they would, they would just die on me. So I haven't been able to get started on my garden at all and normally I'm not able to even start on my garden as far as putting getting plants and planting them and putting them outside until after Mother's Day that's just is what it is when you live up here in the cold mountains you know we have very 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 short growing season here <clears throat> so that is what I've been working on 
Uh, Katie did some port painting a year and she did a great job. She plans to get back into it. I may join her. Pouring paint is so much fun. I like watching it. Sorry, little man came out. He wants me to show you guys something. He got, little man loves Minecraft and he got this yesterday. It is, what is this called again? An owl. An owl. It's one of the Minecraft characters and it has wings in the back. And it's like a pillow pet. So he just wanted to show it. This is my child. He's your child. Okay. <laughs> I like watching port painting. For me, it's visually stimulating and I find it relaxing. And I could watch someone pour paint all day. Uh, Lori's World um, is one of my friends and YouTube creators. And she does paint pouring. And I love watching her. And then uh, Il Naram, I believe his name is Jason. I could be wrong. But he did port painting as well. And I watched his videos when he, he and his wife were pouring paint. And I loved it. Um, all right, so Crojo Corner says, for the bottle bird feeders, you need a special drill bit for the glass, is what she's saying. Yep, and your info is on the about page. Did you, did he type? He did type. Did it drop it? It did. Good. Yes. Okay, so this is his uh, channel, you guys. Go over there and check him out. And then if you have ideas um, or can make one, let him know. And you can get his email from his about page. And Wicked Granny is opposite for me. She, uh, she can French braid her own hair, but not anybody else's. <laughs> That's funny. Oop. And it jumped. Hang on, it's reloading. I just love it when it does that. Uh, my mom just got her info. It must have just come in the mail on her surgery. Um, so Michelle, Nana Michelle says, I'll be sitting next to you in the bushes. Um, she says to Granny, to Granny D, <clears throat> she's going to finish the beaded uh, SIS homemade shawl so I can start on Ursula's shawl <clears throat> soon. I know you'll be glad when you're, when you're able to get that done and you can start on the next shawl. Uh, okay, so Jason says, um, I can't figure out how to make the change <coughs> hold the bottle with sugar water in it. Hmm. I don't know. I am not sure how to do that. Hang on, my dog is being difficult. Give me one second, you guys. Sorry about that. Fur babies. Okay. <laughs> and Granny says there's plenty of room for you, Nana Michelle, in the bushes. <laughs> That's so funny. <sighs> oh, my goodness. Thank you, Melissa. I appreciate it. Thank you guys for praying over my mom. So May 18th is her surgery, you guys. May 18th. Absolutely, our new land. You got it. I'll, I'll definitely run you. And my mom's confirming that I have the date right because I'm really bad with dates. I really am. Thank you guys uh, for praying over my mom. <laughs> Granny D. Nan's next knots wants to know what you're doing in the bushes. <laughs> hey, Maribel is hooked. How are you? Welcome in. <laughs> you guys are funny. You guys make me laugh. <laughs> and then unique, uh, um, amazing stripes is going to run the replay for your, for your, um, um, live that you had yesterday or, We'll have to do the replay for yesterday at Crojo Corner. I have PT on Friday afternoons. Okay. 
so yeah she'll have to do the replay because she's um gonna miss it because of her her physical therapy and you got are saying hi to each other <laughs> oh thank you melissa And then Croja is hoping that your your physical therapy is going great, uh, Faith. <clears throat> the 3D printer is amazing. I've not seen one in person, though. I haven't seen one in person either. But I've seen things made out of it. Thank you, Judy. Hopefully, it will it will get auctioned off and someone will will uh will will purchase it. Thank you, Melanie. The, I really do. Oh, and by the way, in case you guys want to know about the yarn, it's the sport weight. I love this yarn by Hobby Lobby, the gray and the red beanies. Um, and the reason why I went with the sport weight is because this way it's it's a nice lightweight beanie. I mean, I'm up here at the north and it still keeps my head warm. I mean, it really does. But um, it's a little thinner, so it's perfect for those southern winters. You know, where it does get cold in the south, but not as cold as it does up here. So it's kind of a perfect weight for that. So that's why I chose to use the sport weight. Just so it can be used by anybody. And it won't be too hot. It won't be too warm, but it'll be warm enough. Plus, it's it's really nice to wear around the house. And sometimes when it gets chilly here in, inside the cabin, I'll throw one on and it helps warm me up. She did do amazing on that yarn. That yarn is absolutely gorgeous, Melissa. Absolutely hands down gorgeous. Yep, Katie Amazing World of Fun does um, gaming and some slime crafts. Um, I am not adding moderators at the, at the moment right now, Katie, but when I do, um, I will definitely hook you up. I'm just not doing it at the moment, okay? I'm so grateful for your help, Nisi, and try. Oh, and thank your hubby. Um, I will, Melissa. I'm really happy that he was able to do that. Hey, Naked Snail, you, 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 you typed that wrong. <laughs> Retype it. So, so Nightbot will drop your link. Hey, Cindy from Lulu's Treasure. How are you? She says, um, hi, Nisi. So nice to see you today. Wow, I came in just in time to see your pretty beanies. Yeah, I got the one done. I got to do the red one. I, I'm doing one just like this. Um, and then I'll be done. Uh, good morning to Cindy. And then uh, Lulu is saying pretty much hi to everybody. <laughs> Judy says, that's a gorgeous blanket. Thank you. It's been fun to make. Um, I should have had it done by now, but I just keep having things, you know, taking its place. Like I had, to, I, I was working on it and then I did the sunflower blocks for uh, sharing Sharon's project um, for the sunflower Afghan she's making for, uh, Dylan rounds his mother. Um, and then, um, and then, and then, um, I had to do the, uh, one set of spa set for one of the winners of the giveaways. And I've got to do, now that I've got that being done, I've got to whip up the second spa set for the second winner. Um, so I keep having these other, these little things pop up that I have to do first and get out in the mail. <laughs> and so that's been sitting to the side a lot. So that's how I got behind on it. So I got to try and get it caught up. Thank you, you guys. Um, and um, Butterfly Dreams, uh, Jeannie, she kind of helped me. I had, I couldn't decide on colors and I was in Joanne. So I was texting some people. What do you think about this color? What do you think about that color? Do you think this would look good? Do you think that would look good with it? Because I'm not, I'm still trying to figure out how to match colors together. And um, I really wanted some kind of shade of purple mixed in with the autumn colors and so i decided that that light light lavender was perfect because you do need a light color at least one of your colors to be a very light color but i didn't want to use white or cream because that just seemed boring to me so i went with that i think it turned out i think it looks pretty good i, I like the way the colors are are working with each other thank you cindy um, and the pattern's free, Cindy. That's the cool thing. If you go to, um, if you search, um, and I do have the link in one of my videos somewhere, um, the Crochet Crowd Mikey, it's on his channel, and it's all in the family. If you just type all in the family, 
his video will pop up. And then um, in the description of the first tutorial is the link to the free pattern by Yarn Inspirations. So thank you, Mom. Let's see. You better make a rule. If you're going to keep a blanket, you get rid of the blanket. If you're going to keep a blanket, you get rid of a blanket. Yep. I have a ton of blankets. Not crochet blank. Actually, I do have quite a few crochet blankets, actually, but they weren't made by me. They were purchased by my husband to give to me, but I, I have a lot of other blankets. I'm like a female grown-up version of Linus. And, and Little Man is a is a Linus as well. He has a ton of blankets too. <laughs> There's a lot of blankets in this house. <laughs> That's so funny. You may have to make that that rule about Shaw's too, Jason. <laughs> oh goodness. We're getting snow flurries today. You guys are getting snow flurries today? That's crazy. And it was 80 earlier this week. Yeah, it's like bipolar mother nature weather, right? Like it can't decide what it wants to do. We're experiencing that over here. Well, we're not getting 80 degree weather, but like one morning it snowed like crazy and I had like three inches of snow. And then by that afternoon, it was up to 52 degrees and it all melted. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, Cindy says that she saw some photos with lots of snow in Colorado and Minnesota. Snow everywhere there. Hey, Crystal, Divergent Crafter says, hey, Nisi in chat, not feeling well, so we'll be lurking. Oh, honey, get some rest. I'm sorry you're not feeling good. Hope you get to feeling better quickly. Unique Amazing Strap says, I have a few, I have a new project started. Sophie, Angel Wing Shaw, and a draft blocker and socks. Wow, you got a lot going on. <laughs> That's a lot of projects. I don't feel so bad now. I have a, I have several um several blankets on my hook, and uh, unique says hi to little man, and little treasures by Nancy says my son loves Minecraft. Oh, my son is obsessed with Minecraft. He wears Minecraft T-shirts every day to school, pretty much. Uh, cool, my daughter thinks it's cool. I'll let him know he's back in the room. Um. <laughs> Yeah, Minecraft is pretty popular, apparently. A lot of the kids love it. <laughs> and and it, it was the only one they had left in the store. And see, and the reason why I got it, because we don't usually just buy him stuff out of the blue like that. But the reason why I got it is because for Christmas, I thought I had got him one of those. But when it came in the mail, it was a stuffed animal, but it was like, it was like this big. And I paid 20 bucks for something that was this big. I was like, oh, heck no. <laughs> and so we returned it. And then when I saw that one, I'm like, okay, this is what I was supposed to get. And so I went ahead and got it. So it was a very late, very belated Christmas gift. <laughs> oh, hang on. I hate when StreamYard does that blink and then the chat completely goes away and you have to wait for it to pop back up. Um, let's just, that's awesome, little man. My seven-year-old daughter, Sierra, uh, loves Minecraft. <clears throat> yeah, he's, he loves it. That is for sure. <laughs> As a child, Bob Ross on Saturday morning was so relaxing. He is relaxing. Even to this day, if you watch him paint, he's relaxing. Hey, Sunita, she says she just woke up. How late were you guys on uh, Drainy's Live last night, Sunita? I was on the panel for a little bit, you guys. Um, and we were all, most all of us were in our pajamas. It was, a you know, a late night live. And um, it was 8 o'clock my time. I think it was 8 o'clock my time. Anyway, um, I had to get off at 10 o'clock my time. <clears throat> because I knew I needed to do this live this morning. And... <laughs> Little man and I really needed to get to bed, but they were still live when I left. So, um, and they, they can, they can, I mean, last week when we were live with, with Drini, I had left earlier and I think they were alive like until like two in the morning or something crazy like that. So everyone's saying hi to Sunita and hugging her and welcoming her in. 
Uh, Crystal says, thanks, Faith. I will be better in a few days, I'm sure. <laughs> Just, you know, be kind to your body, Crystal, and drink plenty of fluids. All right, so Kroja has a, a question in the chat. How many amounts of works in progress um, do do you guys have or have you guys had at going at once? My max is what I'm doing right now, Crojo, and that is, let's see, one, two, um, three, four, five. I think I've got six whips right now. on my on my whip uh shelf that's a lot for me it's it stresses me out a little bit to have that many sharing sharon says working on a hat and doll blanket set with yarn i use for some of of the fill in squares for the sunflower project you guys i am so excited to see this dylan round sunflower project when she gets done oh <laughs> so said she's lost count of her whips <laughs> That's funny, Sunita. <laughs> Tink says, the mouth of the jar needs to be in the water. Do not cut the end of the bottle off. It creates a suction, says Tank. And that is aimed towards Jason from um, Il Nerum. Um, Just so you know. I don't know if he's still in here or not, but that was for you, bud. And then Sunita says, she keeps adding new ones. <laughs> <laughs> and uh unique amazing stripe says crystal saying wish you feel better without saying get well soon knowing there is no cure for eds yeah unfortunately there is no cure for eds basically like so many autoimmune diseases it's all about management same with chronic pain and several other things so yeah, very good point. Um, I have four blankets going and I want to start new projects and I'm forcing myself not to. Same here, Crojo, same here. I've got to get these blankets done before I start anything new. <laughs> so this red beanie I have left and the spa set I have left, I'm not starting anything new after that until I get all these blankets done. Because I have a project sitting on the side for Little Man that I need to start on. I've got all the yarn of his sitting in a box right now for his, um, what do you call it? It's, um, oh, it's a, it's a uh, blankie hoodie. Um, so, yeah. And that will be my first wearable I do because I've never made anything with sleeves before. <laughs> much less a hood. So, all right. So Jason, I'm going to run. Thank you for the help and um, having me see you next week. Okay. Have a good week. Good luck on the uh, bird feeder project. Um, hey, everybody, if you're forgetful like me, go double, go double check and make sure that you poke that thumbs up button. Oh, thank you so much. BJ says at Crowdrow Corner, go ahead and start a new one. You need something small to take with you. That actually is kind of a good point, VJ. It really is. Uh, Unique Amazing Stripe says, Crystal, I got to bring more awareness to EDS at the at the running, or I got to bring more awareness to EDS at the running store. That's great. <laughs> Yes, VJ, that's a great excuse. And then Crystal says, thank you, Faith. Yeah, it's common pains plus a usual um, monthly pain that hits. So I know it will get better. I will be back to my normal self soon. Those monthly pains, man, <laughs> are not fun. Hey, Kim's Crochet and Knits. She says, hi, Nisi, and hi to everyone. How are you doing today? We're talking about... How many whips have you had out? How did you have or how many whips you've had all at one time at one point? Sunita says she has too many to count. I said I have six right now and that's the most I've ever had at one time. 
Crojo says she has she has she has a lot and 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 she's trying to keep herself from adding new ones to her to her whip count. <laughs> so and Kim Crochet and Knits dropped her link to her channel. So if you don't know her, go check her out. Crystal says, here in Tennessee, it's like explaining rocket science to some people, Faith. They don't understand that I'm okay, but have constant pain. Yeah, people don't get that. I have, with fibromyalgia, it's the same way. You have constant pain. Like, I, I have constant pain every day, but that I don't consider a flare-up because it's just pain that's always there. And then my flare-ups are when there's, it's so bad that, like, I can't move. I can barely walk. And I'm just, like, in agony to the point where, okay, I probably need to take medication for this just to get some relief. People don't get it. People who don't have it don't understand. They're like, oh, it's all in your head. No, it's definitely not in my head. <laughs> and VJ is getting dressed to take her daughter to lunch for her birthday. Oh. Are you taking her somewhere special, VJ? How sweet is that? That is so sweet. Happy birthday to your daughter, VJ. How fun. Hey, Angel Renee today. Says hi, freehandly made, and hi to the chat. It's great that you are supporting always the autism uh, cause. I feel, I feel you, sister. I feel you. Great cause. Thank you so much. Yes, I push acceptance really hard, really hard. Um, I think it, we need a lot more of it. We don't have enough. Um, Judy says, it's time to make lunch for everyone. I've enjoyed the companionship, love, and God's blessings to all. Enjoy your lunch, Judy, with with the fam. And I ha have a great weekend. I think, little man, I'm going to make peanut butter cookies for, for Mr. Handsome today. <laughs> Laura Shelton, hello. She says, free is my favorite four-letter <laughs> F word. F-R-E-E. -E. Everybody loves free. I love free. <laughs> my mom says, watching Pretty in Pink and listening to you. Oh, I love that movie, Mom. You know Pretty in Pink is one of my favorite movies. I love Ducky. Ducky's the best. <laughs> LOL, Linus. Yep. Little Man and I were both Linuses. And don't let Mr. Handsome fill you. He's a Linus, too. He has a lot of blankets, too. Don't let him tell you he doesn't. <laughs> Nisi, you may need those blankets if the heat goes out in the winter. Amen. You got that right. Michi Crochet's Nook. Hey. He says, good morning, everyone. All in the family. Oh, thank you, Tank, for posting that. There's the link, you guys. Um, and that is the tutorial for rows 1 through 15. That's where it starts. And that's the video where you can get the free pattern. The link is in, in that video in the description. Thank you, Tink, for doing that. Girl, you're the bomb. And Unique Amazing Stripes says, Laura, it is crazy weather in the Midwest. It is. It's, a, it's some crazy weather in a lot of places. <laughs> Pretty in pink, Molly Ringwald. Yep, Molly Ringwald and um, oh, I can't think of Matthew Broad. Not Matthew Broadwick. That's not who plays. What? Who plays Ducky? You guys. Who's the actor that plays Ducky? I love the guy that plays Ducky. Oh, let's see. Uh, proof says here is my feelings on this all these crochet garments feel rough on your skin it causes me to itch I don't like crochet I would rather have regular fabrics there are some people who can't handle the fibers of of the way the yarn is um, blended together that I mean it's true and and especially if you're aut if you have autism um, like there's a lot of fabrics I can't even wear I have to wear mostly cotton cotton or polyester are some wearable. I could do some cotton. Um, there are some cotton that can be rough, but for the most part, cotton is a pretty soft fabric. And so if I'm going to make a wearable for myself at a crochet, I'm probably going to use cotton yarn or I'm going to use polyester yarn. Although this is acrylic, but this is a very, very soft acrylic. It's not... Um, and acrylic can soften up in the yarn. Acrylic yarn can soften up in the yarn. Um, 
but also um it's it's the uh stitches you use in the yarn too that can that can can make you feel uh can bother your skin and make you feel itchy or just actually just bother you um so it just depends on the person and absolutely there are some people that 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 cannot handle any type of crochet or knit uh garments no matter what they're made out of that's a true statement so my thing is you wear what is comfortable for you hey barbara wriggle baker how are you welcome in and then Tank has posted the link for uh, rows 16 through 25 for you guys as well, for all in the family. Oh, hang on. And then, well, that's actually a good idea. Uh, VJ says, proof, wear a T or tank underneath. Um, I know when I wear shawls, I have to wear one of those long sleeve shirts. Um, and I do wear a lot of tank tops underneath everything I wear. So. That's actually a good idea, VJ. And then Crystal says, I have a lot of blankets. I have a 40-year-old um, theater lack Bambi blanket I have had since I was two years old. Oh, Lost it for a few years. Someone in the family had it when I found it. I literally jumped for joy. I bet you did. That is Wow, since you were two years old. I don't even have my blanket from when I was that young. Uh, Nancy says, I've, cro I've crocheted the cheaper, or I've crocheted the creeper and the ghost for me. I have a pattern set aside for a little man. He wants me to crochet him the creeper as well. So I haven't done it yet. Or for your son. You did it for your son? Yeah. I've got I've got the um the creeper but I don't have I don't have the one for the ghost Nancy. And then uh Tank has dropped the link for the All in the Family Rose 26 the, that that's the one I'm on right now that's part 3. My 30-year-old son loves Minecraft still also. Yeah, my daughter's 27, she'll be 28 or no, she's 28, she'll be 29. And she likes Minecraft as well. You were up with them until that this was Dreamy's life. I'm really far behind the chat, y'all. Nancy says, I was up with them until 2 a.m. Eastern. Y'all were. Sania went to bed at 3.30 in the morning. Man, you guys were up late. Holy cow. I can't. When when I have Little Man, I have Little Man on Friday night. So I can't hang. I mean, I could hang with y'all if I didn't have Little Man. But because I have little man, I can't I can't hang with y'all that late. I'm gonna have to watch the replay so I can watch what I missed <laughs> after I left. I'll definitely have to do that. Uh, Unique Amazing Stripes says I need to have several patterns. I need the uh, meditative one. Also, when I was at the L L Y S, someone said that they have that they have a friend that does complex knitting, help shift the brain to relieve pain. Oh, that's interesting. That's really interesting. And then this is the part four of all in the family right there. Um, hopefully I'll be seeing that. Hopefully I'll be seeing part four soon. All fingers crossed. And Nancy says she has four. And Sarah simply crochet says, I don't count my whips anymore. LOL. Do you have that many Sarah? <laughs> is that why you don't count and amazing stripes said that they also have four whips they're like nancy they have four and cindy is saying hi to faith alicia and everybody kim saying hi to tank and vice versa melanie hi how are you did you get good sleep <laughs> i can't believe you guys were up that late actually i shouldn't be surprised you guys were up that late last time <laughs> Uh, nope, Unique says she's got six. She's got six, not four. And <laughs> she has some that are in long term timeout. <laughs> Queen's Crafts by Bridget is coming into the chat and saying hi to everybody. And Melanie says, Yes, Anita, I did. I left the live running on my YouTube. Or I left the live running on my TV. LOL. And fell asleep. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> So he says, hi to everybody coming in. I have not been next to the computer. She's multitasking, you guys. 
She's going back and forth. We've got 36 in the chat, and I want to just say really quick, hello to everyone watching in the background. Hang on. Um, so I want to say hi to everybody who's been watching in the background and listening. Thank you for coming and watching. And um, I hope that you guys enjoy your time here while you're multitasking or you're at work. I really appreciate everyone who comes in and watches, whether they're chatting in a live chat or not. Um, and also, um, when the chat does re when the uh, live repost the chat the chat replay actually posts as well, there'll be plenty of links that you guys can look into and click and go check out. And I'm gonna get I'm gonna try and get through these next couple of comments because it is at an hour and I am going to have to log off because little man is standing here staring me down because I think he has shared me long enough. Yes, you may. You may get a snack. <laughs> um, and you guys know I, I like to try to keep it at an hour. But here lately I've been going over an hour. It goes by fast, y'all. Uh, Asia says, uh, this baby blanket I am working on is 34, is on rows 34 to 30, or is 40, 34 to 36 inches. Would that be a good length? Or do y'all do it the same width and height? Usually um, my length is longer than my width. But that's just me. It, it just depends on you, actually. Um, but there's plenty of people in the chat that can tell you what they think about the 34 to 36 inches. <clears throat> I'm trying to remember how big the last blank baby blanket I made that I just sent out. And I can't remember how big it was. Bridget says, I hope everyone is well and making something beautiful. I just finished lunch. Feeding for all the animals. Now going to do a bit of spinning as I listen. Oh, how fun is that? Spinning your own fiber. <laughs> Michi says she's surrounded by project bags. <laughs> I have mine sitting up on a shelf so that I don't feel so bad about it. <laughs> it's not surrounding me. You're like Sunita. You have you have a lot of uh, whips. Melanie J says blankets aren't whips lol a lot of us say <laughs> that's funny Tank says hey Cindy crocheting is crocheting so my hands are busy so Tank is multitasking as well Laura says my whips have a location I have a car project while I wait for kiddos from school desk project and upstairs projects I'm the same way I have certain projects that I that I do in certain areas. Melanie says, yes, fibro, no one can see it, so they think it's not real. Yeah, fibromyalgia, man. I wish I didn't have it. It it it, it disturbs my 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 life in a lot of ways. And uh Krojo says she likes the theory about blankets not being whips. <laughs> The Naked Snail says, I have too many whips to count at the moment. So you're like Sunita. You're in Sunita's club of having too many whips to count. And Crojo Corner says, she's flared now. Seems like low pressure, low pressure weather causes my mind to flare up. Yeah, me too. Mine's, mine's been flared up for the last couple of days as well. And I know it's the weather. Um... Tank says, well, I'm fluffy and people say lung lung patients are autoimmune patients or uh, well, I'm fluffy. I'm fluff fluff fluffy. Fluff, 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 fluff. <laughs> and people say that lung patients or autoimmune patients are skinny. I guess not since I'm fluffy. Yeah, that's definitely a stereotype that's not true. Because I'm fluffy too. Although I don't know. Is fibromyalgia a, a form of autoimmune? I don't know. I mean, my doctor never told me that. Yes, everyone is telling VJ to tell her daughter happy birthday from all of us. And Kim thinks she has maybe 11 whips. Melanie says, before the rain, um, 
came in this morning, I was hurting so bad. As soon as the rain starts, it's like my body has been released from a vice. Oh, yeah, see, it's the pressure. It's that pressure. Barbara says, um, I very... I very seldom have more than one unless I need something to finish the project. Then I will start another or possibly two. I know one year I made 11 plus items. Most were blankets big enough for an adult. Blankets are pretty and I do somewhat enjoy making them. The, the, the thing I don't like about blankets is it takes me a long time to get them done. And I feel like I'm, on the same project forever. Hubby is sleeping. He's on nights this weekend. I'm working on my feather stitch blanket today. Sipping on my latte my, my, macchiato. Ooh, that sounds yummy. Man, I wish I could do. Um, coffee again. Got nasty people coming in. I haven't seen any more trolls yet. Sally says hello to everyone. A unique Amazing Stripe says you also need blankets and multiples so you can curl up wherever you are. And then Sunita says I was on top chat and missed them and missed them reported him. Okay, I see. I'm glad you guys are um, catching these people. Yeah, so I definitely thank you, Tank and Sunita, for catching them. Um, and I'm definitely going to have to send it, set it to 10 minutes now or longer, even. John Sire plays Ducky. Thank you, Mom. I couldn't remember. He plays Dexter, too. Michael Anthony. Oops. I just lost my chat, you guys. I lost my chat. Oh, I gotta go back up. There we go. Uh, uh, Crystal says, for me, it's 100% polyester is the work of the, <laughs> it makes my teeth hurt and feel furry, no joke. Yeah, like I said, fibers affect everybody differently. Thank you, you guys. For whatever reason, I'm not seeing it on my side, but I thank you, my moderators, for taking care of these people. I so appreciate it. Um, costochondritis is another condition that you can't see that causes a lot of pain there's several of them out there Sharon says she's crusade among us dudes but not minecraft I heard you one that yeah uh, so, uh, crochet corners um, crocheted um a, an Among Us character before. Sleep is important, yes. All right, I'm going to skip through this chat, you guys. If I've missed something you guys wrote, I am so sorry. I'm so far behind the chat. Um, see, so woke up at 11 a.m. and got seven hours. Well, seven hours is good. Hey, um, Billy from Rickershire Projects says, our garden is in. Everything grows here. I'm going to try planting months. You're gonna try planting money and grow some money. <laughs> I'm a little jealous of you. I can't. I can't. I can't grow anything right now. All right. I'm gonna scroll down more towards the bottom. I am so sorry, you guys. I am missing so many um, comments. My mom just set a record for watching Pretty in Pink. <laughs> Uh, okay, so Michi said make it 36 by 40, your baby blanket. And Christine is still in the bushes listening. Thank you, Christine, for still listening behind the background. Okay. Uh, Nancy says, does it count as a whip if I have the yarn with the pattern in a bag waiting? No. I say no, it does not count. <laughs> I don't think it counts until you actually start the stitches, Nancy. That's what I'm going to go with. 
Oh, it's so funny. Um, okay, so Aja says, thanks. She's saying thanks to Tank. It's our first try. It seems big and width, but I want her to be able to use it for more than a week. <laughs> Babies grow like beanstalks overnight. They do. Okay, so she says fibromyalgia does fall under the autoimmune. Okay. I wasn't sure because my doctor never said anything to me about that. So Christina says, please tell me what is the word done? That you speak of. <laughs> Christina, you're so funny. <laughs> Barbara says the blankets were mainly for grandchildren and grandnieces and grandnephews. <laughs> Tank says, Well, after my forbidden apple fritter, I'll hurt, but I don't care. It was worth it. I know, right? Sometimes you just got to have that treat and you know you're going to regret it, but it's like <laughs> the heart wants what the heart wants. Or I should say the craving wants what the craving wa craving wants. Or the heart wants the heart wants what the heart wants. <laughs> and it just says very true. I just like I like hearing from y'all's experiences and expertise. I'm I'm the same way, Asia. Um I, I ask for a lot of uh, advice too from from you guys that have been crocheting a lot longer than me. Stop. My dog is growling at me, you guys. She's complaining because she's not getting my attention. Your typing's doing just fine. I can read it just fine. And if I'm reading it wrong, it's it's me, not you. <laughs> Did you see that? You guys probably didn't see that. I had my my hand on the mouse, and she literally put her head under my hand and pushed my hand off the mouse. Now I got my dogs fighting over me. According to the NIAH, does not list fibro as an autoimmune. I have no idea. Hey, Misha Lee. I just know it makes me hurt. <laughs> Please stop. My fur babies. I'm growing radishes indoors and until I can plant outdoors in about a month. I can't, I can't plant anything indoors here. I don't have enough light coming through the windows. Um, and, um, actually I don't have any space for plants in this cabin, this cabin. I mean, it, it, it it's not as big as you, it seems. Um, so I wish I could, but I can't, um, too many of my father-in-law's animals and stuff around. So I don't have any, <laughs> I don't have any room for that. Um, if it attacks your, oops, if it attacks your own body, it's autoimmune tank says. And Crystal says, my daughter has autoimmune condition that causes not pain unless exposed to the sun so long she has. Is that vertigo? V vitiligo? I can't pronounce that, Crystal. Vitiligo? Something like that? Wow. So she has to be really careful when she goes out in the sun then. I think I, I caught up with chat, but I missed a lot of comments, you guys. And I am so sorry for that. Um, thank you to my um, moderators for taking care of um, the undesirables today. <laughs> Trolls, whatever you want to call them. Goodbye, honey. Have a good day. Love you. Love you too, mom. I'll be seeing you soon. Um, and definitely um, when you get out of surgery on May 18th, have dad, te have dad text me. Let me know that you're, you're good to go and you're okay and you're, and you're, you're in recovery. Vit, bite. Vitiligo, 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 vitiligo. Thank you, Tank. <laughs> Interested in what it is as I have been dealing with vertigo, says Unique Amazing Stripes. And then Crystal says she has the same condition that Michael Jackson had. Her body attacks the pigment in her skin. Oh, okay. Doesn't um, Jada have that as well? The one Jada, the 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 woman that's married to Will Smith, doesn't she have the same thing? Um, but thank you again to my moderators for taking care of those 
of the of those that situation for me. I appreciate you guys so much. Um, I do plan on going live again on Tuesday. I haven't had anyone on my on panel with me the last two lives. Um, just because I kind of just wanted to sit back and really read the chat. Um, I may open the panel up maybe Tuesday. I'm not sure. We'll see how I'm feeling. Um, <laughs> that's a little man waving by. Um, so we'll see. But um, I don't have any appointments on Tuesday. I double checked. That's why I had to cancel last week, you guys, because I totally forgot. I, I had Zayden, a uh, little man had a doctor's appointment. I totally forgot. I'm like, oh, I can't go live. It's got a doctor's appointment. Um, but I don't have anything scheduled for Tuesday. So I should be able to come up. And it's what's up, fam? And we talk about everything. We literally talk about everything. And um, I think I would like to use Tuesdays as a day to showcase some channels. And um, kind of a uh, let's share your neighbor day. Maybe Tuesday might be fun. You guys tell me what you think about that. Um, I don't have any plans for any giveaways soon. Um, I may do one. More likely, I will do one once I hit 2K. I have no idea when that will be. Um, but that is like my next major milestone is hitting 2K. And so I'll, I'll definitely do a, a giveaway, a, a thank you appreciation gift day when I hit 2K. May even have a little party. We'll see. Um, Michi says some medications you use can cause it too. Oh, yes, I did hear that. I did hear that um, it can cause fibroid or other things um, to be worse. Vitiligo autoimmune usually has underlying issues such as diabetes. That's interesting. Uh, Michigan, it, de uh, it developed when she was eight years old. Other known conditions. Huh, that's interesting. You always learn something new. Okay. Well, you guys, my dogs, do you hear that? And it's just, it's the one dog that's like demanding my attention, like being very rude. She's not behaving herself. Stop. Shh, shh. All right. So um, it is an hour and 30 minutes. I can't remember you guys who's going live next um, on Saturday. I'm pretty sure it was Crojo, but I looked, Laura, I looked for, I looked for you. For your, um, don't you go live on Saturdays? Or am I, am I, do I have that confused? Or do I have you confused with somebody else? I could have sworn you went live on Saturdays. Um, could have sworn you went live on Saturdays. But anyway, so I'm going to go so we can, we can catch up on, Whatever we need to do, go to the restroom, make lunch, take care of rude fur babies that are barking because they want my attention that or impatient Catholic. or impatient. They've already been fed, sweetie. They don't need dog food. No, I'm taking them out. Okay, well, just I'll be out there just a second, okay? Because I don't just wait because I don't want them to run off on you. We have deer and they like to run off. So um, I'm going to go. You never do Saturdays? Why did I think you were a Saturdays person? <laughs> Wow. I do say that every Saturday, don't I? It's Tuesdays and Fridays. Somebody else goes live on Saturday, and I can't remember who it is, you guys. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna try and figure out who it is, and then next week I'll get it right, and I'll do a read. I'll do a redirect link to that to that live. Well, Y'all, I do this every week, and I don't know why. Yeah. But that's why you wait behind the door. Yeah, okay, I'll wait behind the door. All right, you guys, I've got things to take care of, as you guys can tell. I will see you guys later. She says, you can catch me and Sis B at 8 p.m. Eastern. Okay, Christine, thank you so much for letting me know that. Um, and I do have that, actually, my notification link, I believe I have that pushed. So I can see that. That's going to be 6 p.m. my time. Yes. So I do know about V's, but there's somebody else that goes live during the day right after me. And I can't remember who that is. Anyway, I digress. I will figure it out for next week. I will see you guys on Tuesday. I'm going to hit the exit video out so you guys can finish saying bye to each other, finish dropping some links, and we'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye, everybody.